Namo Namaha. Now, in this clip, we're going to focus on the third of our five consonant classes, the T letter, the retroflexes, as they're called. We've looked at the velars so far, G, K, G, G, N. Those are, remember, articulated in the back of the mouth by the throat. Next, we have the palatal stops. These are articulated at what's called the soft palate, using the back of your tongue. Ch, ch, j, j, n. The third point of articulation going from back to front is called the hard palate. Uh, these are uh, called retroflex or murdanya uh, sounds. The way to form these is a little bit tricky for Westerners, mainly because the tongue normally doesn't flex back like that for in, in Western languages. To form them, though, first touch that bumpy ridge behind your teeth with the tip of your tongue. Right there. Got it? Now, you should be able to feel that ridge. Now move the tongue just slightly back, just a tiny bit, so that you can ensure that no part of your tongue touches the gum or the teeth. That's where we're going to pronounce our retroflex sounds, our stops. The first retroflex is unvoiced and unaspirated. Uh, it's pronounced da. There's no vibration of the voice box, no puff of air that comes out. The next stop is unvoiced, but aspirated. So there is going to be a puff of air, but no voicing. Ta. It's hard. Try it. Ta. As you're learning to make these aspirates, you could at the start exaggerate the puff of air a little bit. It's okay. Uh, but give it a try. Use that piece of paper to test yourself. Ta. No vibration in the voice box, but a puff of air, an H. Uh, the next stop is then voiced. Uh, but no aspirate. So, duh. Notice how the voice box vibrates a little bit. Duh. Fourth, we're going to have the voiced and aspirated stop. Duh. It's, this one's hard, I'm not going to lie, but keep practicing. You have to have the vibration and the puff of air. All at kind of the same time as the tongue is touching the back of the hard palate, but not touching the teeth or the gums. Duh. Lastly is the class nasal, the ng, uh, sorry, the, the n. Uh, be careful to practice this one. Make sure your tongue doesn't touch your teeth either. N. Uh, just like we did with the other classes, uh, we'll kind of try practicing the uh, simple vowels with these uh, so that you get more of a hang of the long and short uh, vowel practice as well. So, t, ta, ti, ti, tu, tu, t, ta, ti, ti, tu, tu. Da da di di do do, da da di di do do. There you go. Uh, those are the retroflexes. Go and take a look at how they're written in Devanagari. Learn some of the vocab that goes along with it. Listen to how my dad pronounces them. Then maybe you can practice the first two classes again a little bit, so that you have the you build your knowledge uh, on top of each other. So when you're ready, let's turn to then the fourth class, the dentals, uh, which we're going to get a bit easier. Don't worry, uh, more familiar. Till then, Tanya Thanks for listening. Punar Milamaha. <laughs>